Hi, so today I'd like to talk about why most hand speed or foot speed workouts out there for drumming are not going to actually make you any faster necessarily. Doing the workout in and of itself, no matter what it is, will almost never make you any faster at the instrument. Essentially, there's only two things that can make you faster at drumming, using correct technique and then working with a metronome in a very structured way. And a lot of the workouts that you see out there on other YouTube channels or in magazines or in books, they focus on what pattern you have to play. And it doesn't really matter what the pattern is. It could be rudiments, it could be stick control exercises, it could be something else, but it's the technique and the approach that you use to it that make you faster, not exactly the pattern. So when you see a workout presented to you that's supposed to make you faster, the first thing you should look for is, do they explain how to do the workout in a productive way? If it's just a bunch of notes, it's not gonna help. So recently I saw a great example of a bad speed workout in a magazine whose name I will not mention. Um, but basically, all it was was a bunch of exercises that they told you to practice for 30 minutes. This is gonna do two things for you. It's going to make you really good at the exercise and it may enhance your endurance you're going to be playing for a long time at the same thing. Sports analogy, this is like running a marathon. You do a very repetitive task for a long period of time. It gets you in shape, but it doesn't make you any faster. Marathon runners are typically not very good sprinters. Um, and this is because the exercise that you play doesn't have much to do with how fast you are. You should train like a sprinter to continue the sports analogy. Sprinters work on doing very short bursts of activity very quickly in order to make their muscles respond more quickly and therefore generate more speed. We can do that same thing as drummers um, with a metronome and using shorter bursts of practicing in a more organized fashion. It almost doesn't matter what the exercise is as long as you approach it the right way. So one more thing about sports, here's a sample 100 meter runners workout for a week. Um, you can see only on Tuesday do they run more than 100 meters, but every other day of the week they do a lot of reps below 100 meters, and that's what actually makes them faster at running. So as a drummer, you can do a similar thing. You could make up a, a workout in which you used a certain metronome marking for a certain number of bars, probably less than 16, uh, and then you could do it a certain number of times with rest in between as if it was a real workout. Um, this would be completely different than playing for 30 minutes straight. You could use the same notation and you'd still get a better result. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, you know, please subscribe, I guess. I'm supposed to ask that. Um, hit the like button. If you have questions, I do typically respond, so ask away.